I want us to touch on books that changed your life. We're going to have both secular books and Christian books. I'll mention or speak about maybe 10 or 12 books that I can immediately think that affected me when I read it. Yes. It shifted a mindset yeah. or it changed something. And I'll speak on both Christian and normal books. I believe it's good to read normal books. And this is not an order, these books. I want to make this clear. This is not an order. But one of the books that really gives you a lot of wisdom in relation to business, life, the behavior of people is obviously the author, Robert Greene. His book called 48 Laws of Power. Now, we had some funny ministers that said that this is my Bible and all this stuff simply because they heard me mention it once. Yeah, oh, no, no. Actually, actually, because they used it to manipulate people. Yeah, yeah. And then when they got exposed, then they're like, oh, no, Leon, Leon, it's Leon's Bible. No, it tells you human psychology. Let me just explain this, that Robert Greene is a brilliant behavior. I think he's a behavioral psychologist. I think he studied the behavior, the psychology of Hollywood and the famous and how they would take advantage of people, how they would control, seduce and what made some to be successful and what made others not to be successful. So he wrote books, for example, 48 Laws of Power. He wrote books called The Mastery. Mastery is brilliant. He wrote a book called 33 Strategies of War, which I also read. If you don't have a foundation of the word, if you heart is evil, you will misunderstand these books. Yeah. But for example, the 48 laws of power, I mean, the, let me just give you the very first law. Never yeah, outshine your master. Never outshine your master. That's the first law. Yeah. These laws and these things can be used to manipulate people, but it can also be used for you not to be manipulated. This is not a man who wrote this to manipulate, if you've ever yes. listened to him. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And please, I'm not saying he's a believer or anything like that. Conceal your intentions. Always say less than necessary. So much depends on reputation. Guard it with your life. I messed up that one. Um, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> there, because the Bible says Jesus said he laid down his own no reputation. reputation. He made himself no reputation. So obviously, this is not biblical. But when you get into business, for example, crush your enemy totally. Law yes. 15. Yeah. That's that's a thing that I learned out of pain of being crushed by my enemies. I learned, unfortunately, oh, you have to crush your enemy. Yeah. I'm speaking in a worldly sense right now. Then he has bad things. For example, pose as a friend, work as a spy. Yes. But he's not saying to do this. He's explaining human behavior and he's explaining what is saw what people are doing yeah. in life. Adam is saying, yeah, he's saying it's one of his favorite authors, but he says it's interesting that the 48 laws of power is banned in prisons. Yeah, I've also read that. I also heard about it. Um, I'm not sure if it is true. Maybe some, I know prisons in America each have their own laws. Every that, that was one of the accusations towards you that you're using a book that's banned in prison as your Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, anyway. yeah. Number two, 12 Rules of Life of Jordan Peterson, which I really loved. Just some practical things. I think there's one or two things in that's a bit like weird, but yeah. really good practical things. Obviously, he's a clinical psychologist, maybe behavioral, not exactly sure, but clinical. Then the third book, which is not top. I would say if I have anything with top from one, this would probably be number one. The first book I read that changed my life, the first book was Good Morning Holy Spirit 100%. Yeah, by Ben. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, you know. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, that was a very good book. I think you also gave me that book. I gave a lot of people that book. I think you, gave, you, yes. you gave me that book and you gave me Spiritual Man. And you said these are the two books you must read. <laughs> After Good Morning Holy Spirit, I read Spiritual Man by Watch Bunny. If you want to get a good foundation of the spirit, soul, body, fleshly, I mean, and everything. Yeah, the carnal in Christian, between, the uh, fleshly Christian. It is Spiritual Man. He never believed in praying in tongues. But he also got people saved with his eyes, so. Then the fifth book, and this is not in order, but one I really enjoyed that shifted my mindset was Alien Encounters by Chuck Missler. Because it was the first Christian that began to speak about the realities of Alien Encounters. Yes. And put it in a book form like that. Yeah. And 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 what's nice about him is he always presents the options. So he, can, he will say, like with the Alien Encounters book, I remember he says that it can be spiritual beings, it can be physical beings. He gives you the options. He says, this is how they present themselves. And then he shows you scripture that kind of and makes he, you... But he also goes into, into case studies. Yes. After that is Mike Murdoch's Law of Recognition. Now, Mike Murdoch is one of my favorite authors when it comes to Christian authors. It gives you the ability or teaches you to discern different graces, to recognize the differences in people. 
and know how to honor it and appreciate it. A lot of people judge the differences and he explains how we should be looking for the differences. And when you fail to recognize the difference in others, you fail to grow into another realm because God can bring a breakthrough in a person. Yeah. And if you fail to recognize the grace that they operate in, you will never have it. You will never have it. And that which you judge will judge you. The mantle you judge will judge you. And what you fail to recognize, you lose. The next book is Unseen Realm by Michael Heiser. Michael Heiser just passed away. He was one of my favorite apologists when it comes to the Nephilim, pre Adamic, Fallen yes. Angels, Unseen Realm. Yeah. You know, the supernatural. Obviously, he's got many books, but I loved Unseen Realm. One after that is Elijah Task by John and Paula Sanford. Yes, that's good. A powerful book that shifted me in the prophetic to teach me a lot of principles. Then the book after that, a financial book, Money Master the Game by Tony Robbins. Yes. It's one of those books that a lot of the information is really beneficial only for American citizens. Yeah. He goes into everything, especially when it comes to policies and stuff and how it works and why certain things pay out, why certain things don't pay out. Because things have become international, it's, it's really a good book, that one. Then obviously Rich Dad, Poor Dad shifted my whole paradigm, yeah. my whole mindset of um, finances. Rich Dad, Poor Dad was the first financial book I read. It's it's maybe a smaller book, but in, at the basic, time. But yeah. at the time, at the time it, it, it was open your and eyes. And if you're a person whose eyes are not opened in the financial world, that'll be good for you. That's the first yeah. book yes. that I'll be like, you, you first need to read this because you're yeah. still on baby levels. Yeah, 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 definitely. Okay, so the, my first Christian book would be Good Morning Holy Spirit and then Spiritual Man. My first financial book was Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Then, Rick Godwin Exposing Witchcraft in the Church. Yes, very good book. I loved it very much. Then after that is God Chases by Tommy, by Tommy Tenney. Tenney. Yeah, very good book. good book. Like that was like Good Morning Holy Spirit almost. Yes, but 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 I just discovered a, it later. But that put a fire. Yeah, that, that was that. that, that you read that fire. and you get you get stirred you get up. On fire. Yeah, Tommy Tenney makes you on fire at the time. Don't know if it's gonna have the same effect again. Yes. Yeah, that's the other thing I was thinking of. Like now, at the time. all of these books we read long ago. So 